Do you want more? More time, more balance, more love, more sex, more money, more real, and less bullshit? This is the Women Wanting More podcast with Dr. Karen Osborne. Real life, real stories, plus real tips to get you more of what you want. So little things, sister, are the big things. So I had a great conversation with one of my group masterminds yesterday and one of the women in the group had brought up a question just was looking for some feedback and some insight and said you know like how do I like how had it basically asked me like my experience with it right because what I what I coach uh, what I lead women to do is what I do what's worked in my life and what's then work with clients and so I do what works, right? We get results. And so her question was, how do you not see the little things as essentially as like not significant, right? Like, you know, no big deal because it's just it's little things. How can they really make any bit, of, any bit of a difference? And as I said to her, you know, it's a great question. I said, number one, the way for me to answer that is first of all is to be honest and truthful. And the first part of that is like, I don't see it that way. I don't see the little things as little things. I see the little things as the big things. So let me explain and give you some context as to what exactly that means. So, you know, her comment was kind of like, well, like, you know, my business doing these contacts these days, like, what's the big deal? Or, you know, text my boyfriend, how can I make a difference each day? And, you know, daily meditation or journaling, like, you know, it has to be like something big if it's impactful. So I can absolutely see where she's coming from. And it's the things that I talk about, the consistent daily actions, that I often refer to as the unsexy stuff. Right? The workouts when you don't feel like working out. The journaling when you don't feel like and getting up early in the morning to get you more foreign. The text messages of gratitude and appreciation, which, appreciation which you honor about your husband, boyfriend, partner. When you're not feeling really appreciative and loving. The things that you do no matter what. The unsexy. It's the things, you know, that, for example, it's kind of like, you know, athletes that you see perform. Or a musician. You know, you don't see the hours and hours and years, decades for some of training to get to where they are. You don't see that. That's the unsexy stuff. We see, we see the end. We see the games. We see the concerts. We see the performances. We see, you know, we see all of the end result. We don't see the leading up to. It's the unsexy. It's the little things. It's Michael Jordan as a kid growing up that never made his high school basketball team, but yet would shoot free throws every single night. Every single night. Every single night. Every single night. It's Tiger Woods when he was in his heyday and would be training in the off-season. When golfers never really did that back then. He would run and lift weights and stay strong and keep hitting the ball. And It's the consistent daily actions. It's the little things that are actually the big things. And that's really how I answered this client's question was just, well, you know what, the thing is, is like, the way that I see it and what I know to be true for me and what I've seen to be true for, true for my clients is that these little things all add up. The little things all add up and become big things. So check this out. So let's say for 90 days, you send your husband daily a text message that takes you all of 30 to 60 seconds to let him know what you honor, appreciate, your love about, about him. And he gets, he gets a message 90 times. 90. A little, a, little, a little action, right? A little thing that you do each day. Do you think that would affect not only the way that he, he sees that you see him, and the love that he feels from you and the appreciation, the gratitude that he feels from you. But do you think that might also change the way that you see him? Say if we take a look at your body, do you think that, you know, daily movement for 90, we'll give you the same example, 90 days. 90 days you move your body. 
intensely. Maybe it's a light walk. You're doing mobility work. You're going for a run, yoga class. If you're like me, you're boxing a little bit more intense. Like something you do every single day to train your physical body. A little thing, right? You go, well, I just went for a walk today. Like right now as I'm recording this, as I'm recording on my podcast, I'm walking. I'm walking back from dropping off my son at school. This is when I record my podcast in the pockets of time. And so I can take a look and go, well, it's just a walk. Yeah, but when I do that five days a week over a month, and I do this twice a day, it's 10 minutes there, 10 minutes back. 10 minutes for me, maybe 15 minutes going with Tyson, but we'll say 10 minutes, 20 minutes, twice a day, 40 minutes. Over a week, that's 200 minutes. And what does that work out to? 200 minutes is three, almost three and a half hours of walking every single week. And so that's 14 hours of walking a month, moving my body, right? Climbing hills, fresh air, birds singing, sunshine. It adds up, sister. The little things are the big things. If you can really grasp this concept, then you will understand what it means to do things every single day. Because it adds up. You know, we've all seen these investment charts of what happens you start investing at an early age. You let the magic of compound interest actually take over. And the amount of money that accumulates over time by consistently making deposits over a period of time. Actual deposits, financial deposits. So imagine you're not making that deposit daily in your marriage, in your business, in your children, and in your body. Little things, not big things, little things that add up and the little things become the big things. This is why the Morph 4 works so well. Which, by the way, if you haven't gotten the new Morph 4 system, hit me up. Send me an email, drkaren at drkarenosmer.com, and I will send that to you. I've taught this in a couple different podcasts. But I now have a version that has a video and an updated scorecard, the Morph 4 scorecard. Daily actions. They matter, sister. They matter a fuck lot more than you think. You think it has nothing to do with these things. It has everything to do with these things. The little things are the big things. So here is your more tip for today. What is one little thing you can do consistently daily? Daily. And I don't mean like, "Ah, you know, weekends, I'll kind of, no, daily. Daily. Here's the thing. When you fall off track, which was a, one of my recent podcast episodes. And yes, it was about how to get back on track. And yes, it happens and everyone drifts from time to time. But when you start doing this on a regular basis, it's fucking hard. It becomes a slippery slope. A day off becomes two days, becomes a week. And holy shit, you haven't been in the gym now for six weeks. Daily actions. Like taking a shower, like brushing your teeth. Consistent daily actions, the little things are the big things. So what is one little thing as part of this more tip and such that you can commit to doing today? <clears throat> Not, oh, next week, I want to have time. No, no, today, one little daily action you can commit to doing today. And really see where that takes you over the next 30 days. Commit to doing it daily for the next 30 days. Test it. Don't believe me. Test for yourself. And see, see if what I'm saying is correct, which I'm pretty certain you're going to see that it does. You're going to see even after just seven days. And after 14 days, let alone 30 days of a consistent daily action. The little things that actually add up to big things. So these things are exactly what I teach inside the sister. Because here's, here's the deal. The reason I created my new coaching program called The Sister, which is a Facebook, Facebook group is that it's hard to do these things in isolation. I, like, I get you, sister. You're like, man, this stuff is so great. And yeah, I got it. But he, the, the reality is for most of you is that most of the people around you aren't like you. You haven't found your tribe yet. If you do not surround yourself with others like you, I don't care how disciplined, how much of a badass you are, how determined you are, how persistent you are, it'll be fucking hard as shit. 
And there's a high chance of failure if you don't surround yourself with others who are like you. So that is the purpose of the sisterhood. These are women that are committed to power in all areas of their life. The four more pillars, which are your marriage, your business slash work, your bond, and your family. Doing these things that I teach, having the accountability of a group, having access to me as a powerful coach, and having an action plan. So these are weekly video trainings that we do, live Facebook live trainings within the sisterhood, daily sisterhood tips. So you wanna take what you're learning here and go deeper? Then I want you to do this. Head over to drkarenosborn.com slash sisterhood, and you can sign up for the seven day free trial. Free, no risk, free. Cancel anytime you want. And after that, it's just merely 47 bucks a month. It's a no brainer. Don't tell me you don't have a buck 50 a day. I've had a few of you with love that go, I can't afford it. A buck 50 a day with love, fuck you. That's bullshit. That's a lie. That's an excuse. You were worth a dollar 50 a day, sister. It's time to start investing in yourself. So that's over at drkarenosborne.com slash sisterhood. And the link, click, 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 clickable link will be in the show notes for this particular episode. You can just click right on that as well. So I will talk the next episode. A life of more is just one step away from you doing the fucking work every single day. I love and appreciate you. To get the show notes of each Women Wanting More episode, including the How to Get More tip, subscribe to the newsletter at drkarenosburn.com newsletter.